So if you go to Canvas, we've got our brand new week 13. And if, um, if you've been keeping track, well, we've got 16 weeks in the semester. Uh, you sort of don't quite count the last one. Uh, so there's still one more main, one more kind of like weekly assignment and then one final assignment. Um, the final assignment, you will be, it'll be a take home sort of thing. The final project will be a take, take home thing. It's not that on the last day you have something to do. You'll have the week to work on it. And it'll be due on the last day of class, which I have to triple check, but I believe it's on around December 9th or 10th or something, 11th, something like that. We'll, I'll check that in a moment. Um, but here's what we got in store for this week. So in our welcome message, the, um, the thing that we're going to do, the main idea in this class is about blogging, is about creating content. You've got a website, and it's not just that it's designed well, that it looks nice, that it has cool features, but it also has to have content. Now, in this class, we won't go too far into it. We have an assignment on this next week regarding SEO, search engine optimization, there's a whole other class that focuses on that. I believe it's CIS 257 or so, 255, something like that, uh, which is being offered next semester. So I would highly recommend you enroll in that. That's our web search engine class. Uh, I believe it's called uh, web search um, visibility, something like that. That's the class that talks about in detail. You've got a website or you're hired by a client to work on a website and not only do you have to design the website and such but you also have to optimize it you have to prepare it so that the search engines can find it so that customers can find it etc well part of that is the concept of content and then this week we're going to focus on blogging which is just writing you're going to write content you're going to create content for your site this week now last week was the assignment that you needed to have created a, you know, you needed to have bought your real domain name, you needed to have a real .com, .biz, .xyz, whatever, you needed a real place on the internet. The local host um, is not going to be enough for the final projects because you need to have a real internet presence. Two weeks ago, you did the research about um, how, do, how much do these things cost, and everyone did that assignment and did well on it, so you should know, you, you should have had that ability. So for what this week is, you're going to write some content on your actual website on the real internet. And then we've also got um, the assignment, two assignments, which is going to be the um, a discussion with your peers, and then one where you submit by the deadline. We'll see the details on that. Looking, whoops, looking at the following items. Okay, the resources. Uh, here, there is uh, the Wikipedia article about blogging, a little bit of history. It's a little optional, but it's interesting to read about where blogging is, where it came from, what it is. So there's that. There's the best practices. That's another um, semi-optional reading to do, but it's not that much of a long read, and it comes from Forbes, this website that deals a lot with business and technology and such, so I would check that out. Those are the two resources. Uh, we have these other readings, which are a little bit more the focus, so I'll look at those in a moment. But the first half of the assignment for this week, inspirational blogs. Uh, you're going to share in the discussion board uh, an example of a website that has a blog that has something, that, that is a website that updates often, that has something new, that has new articles, new news, something that you read on a regular basis. You're going to tell us about it. Uh, so what's the name of the blog? What's the address? Uh, tell us one article, one particular posting that you that you like at the moment, uh, or that interests you, that is. Uh, summarize it a little bit, and then tell me, uh, or tell us if you agree or disagree with the content of it and, and why. You know, tell us about the article, your opinion about it. You only need to find one site and one post for this part of it. I have an example down here that I can show you. Then the second uh, part of that is that then you have to respond to your classmates. So here you've got to respond to at least two classmates by Friday. And uh, you need to tell us, well, that person shared a website, shared a blog, shared an article. Had you heard of that website before? Do you think you would like that website now that, you've, now that you know about it? 
and then also now you need to check out their website that they shared and you find one article one news post or one blog post that might interest you and then tell us about it as well in about three sentences uh, and you answer this when you do the reply to the person now um, it does not count to reply to me because it says you uh, are going to reply to your classmates um, spoiler alert I'm not your classmate so you're going to be responding only to your classmates. You can read what I wrote here as an example, but uh, if you reply to mine, uh, you're not going to get the points. You, will, you can reply to mine, and I can reply to you and such, but you're going to need to reply to your classmates. So you're going to write your own original uh, post where you tell us about a blog, and then you're going to reply to at least two different people and reply to them. So those are the details right there. The grading, as usual, will be listed there. You've got your portion of things due by Wednesday. And then you've got the follow-up by Friday. That's the first half of it. This is the inspiration, uh, inspirational blogs discussion, because this week is about content, about creating things, about writing. Does that make sense so far for that particular weekly project? OK. The other weekly project is going to be then, you're going to do some reading, and then you're going to create your own blog, your own article. You should have your website, remember? Like I said last week, you created a website. I've looked at people's Padlets. I haven't had a chance to grade them all yet, but you know, people have bought a website, which is great. That's what we're, uh, end result, one of the end results of the class is. And you've got some readings. Uh, so on these, you're going to read these on your own. Uh, what is some blog planning, some writing, and some promoting? So those are some readings that I put together for you with some links and extra things. You're going to read those. And that'll take you over to the assignment, the other assignment, which is this one's due by Sunday. Um, so nowadays, not only do you have to be able to make a website if you're going to be a web designer, you also have to sometimes do code you have to write the code you don't you can't just press a button and it does it for you sometimes you have to write the code you have to create marketing strategies or other SEO content as we've seen for other days the company profile the marketing strategy something we'll talk about SEO next week and create content you know if you're gonna get hired to do this stuff for a client it's not just gonna be the website you might have to create the graphics the text etc so that's what this one will focus on after you do the discussion, you'll have some examples of websites that inspire you so that you can also then create uh, your own content. Note, you will need to create two different blog posts on your website on two different days. So the deadline is by Sunday, but that doesn't mean complete them both on Sunday. You, know, you have the whole seven days or so. On different days, you're going to write the different article. And specifically what you're going to do, okay, so on your own real website, you're going to create two blog posts, two articles on two different days, at least 100 words per blog about what, what your website is. Like, let's say I always use the example Victor's Bakery. In Victor's Bakery, the main purpose is it's a website that sells cookies and cupcakes and birthday cakes or whatever. But I'm also going to create a blog post. I'm going to write articles about like you know here's what uh, here's a recipe that we have um, here is like uh, a healthy tips sort of article here is you know a um, not an expose what's the other word a um, like a just an article about us as the company or the people that work with us um, and so you're gonna to need to create two articles on whatever the topic of your website is on your website, on your real website on the internet, 100 words each. You'll wanna have an image at least, and I recommend here getting it over from Pixabay, not, not like a regular Google search. Those, those images usually are not safe for you to use. Even though this is for an academic project and um, you know, for that sort of purpose, there might it might be okay. If you're going to create like a real website for a real client, you're not just going to borrow, aka rip off images from Google. You're going to go either create your own images, or you're going to go to websites like Pixabay where they have legal images for you to use, um, to use appropriately on your projects. Uh, you're going to write 100 words or so, but you're also going to divide up the content a little bit so it's not just one big old chunk of stuff. 
You're going to use a heading to divide up this section with this section or whatever. And you're going to add your link to your, to your blogs in Canvas. You're going to submit, um, submit assignment up there, and then you're going, to have the, you're going to add the links to your posts. So this is due by Sunday, but you have to do this on two different days. So notice the, the rubric to get the full credit there. Create two posts on two different days. Uh, you won't get the full credit if you do them all on one day. Um, you have to do this off of your own website. There is a slight alternative here, but you won't get full credit. But you're going to focus on your own website. Uh, the length of it and an image and heading. So that'll be 10 points. Create your own content. It's very open-ended. A lot of these assignments, I don't want to like really constrain you. You have to do this and that. I kind of try to open it up to have you still be very creative and do what you want within the boundaries and within the deadlines and such. And so this one is about creating content. So check the readings because the readings explain a little bit more about how to write a blog post and there's various other links and examples and such or you can always do something like do a, a search over here for like um, how to get rich blog you know looking up here who's writing about this topic so here's someone the I will teach you to be rich blog I've never heard of this before I'm already enticed by that title I want to click it and get rich so the idea is they created a website but I haven't even seen it but I'm seeing something that interests me, the content. And so I'm going to click and visit their website, and maybe they're going to sell me something, or I'm going to get something. They're optimizing their site to get found. That's what you do, right? You don't just type in the web address. You don't have you know, a million addresses memorized. You search. So next week will be more about what is this whole SEO, search engine optimization. Part of it is what we're doing this week about creating content of what people are searching for. That's what this um, your blog assignment will be about. Uh, so whatever your website is, you know, food review articles, meme articles. What else? People, a lot of people are doing stuff about art and technology and such. What are the things that you your website is about that you can write about that will entice people to click when they see you on search? That's the second assignment. Does that make sense? Any, any more questions or clarification on that second assignment? OK. So those are the two assignments. But wait a minute, one more thing. We actually have a third assignment for this week. Let me activate it right now. And if you refresh your screen, you have a brand new assignment. This is the one that you've, we've never done before. This is the one where it's going to be an in-class assignment. This is something that you're going to need to work on today and turn in today. So let's take a look. This is a brand new item that I just activated. Week 13, the in-class assignment, pair programming. We're going to have one more um, partnered assignment. I brought out the blue bowl again right here to uh, pair people up. Um, and what this assignment is going to be about, this is going to simulate something that is happening more and more in the real world. If you get hired by a company to do web design, you're often working with a team. And it's not just you in your cubicle or at home or at Starbucks or whatever writing the code or doing the website. You're often working with someone else. So if we look at the details of this particular assignment, on this, in, on this our first in-class assignment, you will be paired with a classmate where you will both uh, help each other write a resume. So you will write this resume in HTML and upload it to Canvas by the end of the class meeting. So this assignment is due today. 4.30 before you leave. Together with your partner, you should be able to get it done because we're going to have like three hours for you to work on it. That should not be, you should not need that much time. And so the details are that after I pair, after I pair you up, each of you is going to create a file where you're going to write the resume of the other person. So you're going to create a file with their last name for the other person. And together, you're going to develop a resume. Um, you know, you're going to tell the other person about creating the resume. So you're going to upload that file. Each one person is going to upload one file. 
the file that they created for the other person. Question. Are we uploading our resume or the other person's As I just said, you are going to be uploading the other person's uh, resume. You're going to be writing their resume, and you're going to be uploading the code that you wrote about their, about their resume. So I'll reiterate that one moment there. But you're uploading what you write about them. So you're going to upload it here to Canvas. I've got a link right here, uh, student resume examples. This one, um, I like that this one has it right here, a nice little, like a cheat sheet right here um, about, well, here's a common type of resume. It's got, you know, the person's name, address, some qualifications, and you may think, well, I just started in, in college, or this is my first class, I don't have qualifications. Um, that's fine, you need to put in, like, what classes you've taken, what classes you, you, you had taken, you will take, your major, that sort of thing, what your education is, if you have any experience, notice, you know, this doesn't say job experience, it says experience highlights, because people sometimes don't think, well, yeah, one time, you know, I made a, I made my uncle a business card, that is experience, even though you were, you were not paid or whatever, that was some work that you did for someone else, so use this as an example of what type of resume to create, because then with your partner, you're, you will write your partner's resume and they will write yours. So they're going to be coding a resume that you tell them and then you're going to be coding a resume that they tell you. You can start with this basic HTML file here if, you, if the HTML cobwebs are all dusty. Um, you know, we haven't worked with HTML in a while. But you can start with that or you can practice again writing your own basic HTML file. The person's name is going to need to be on it, of course, so that's going to be a heading one. You're going to have these sections. You can do more sections if you want, but at least these sections. And these sections just come basically from that article there, qualifications, etc. These are all going to be H2s. You're going to have bullet points in there, so you need that proper code. You're going to have regular text. There's that proper code. You're going to need to look up. How do I write a comment block? Because in the code, I need to write a comment that, um, you know, that I wrote this resume for my partner. So I need to see the credit of both of you in the code, not on the main visible part of the document, in the code, in a comment. I need to see your name and their name, you know, that you worked together. We're going to style it just a little bit. Change the background color of the document to whatever your partner wants. If you want a nice purple color, but your partner wants uh, red instead, okay, your partner wins. It's what your partner wants as the background color. Mm -hmm. And then your text color as well, what they want as the text for their resume. You can write the CSS right in this file. We don't need to get fancy with a separate file. So this document will have HTML and CSS. And, uh, and then turn it in on Canvas. So again, uh, you are uploading the file of their of their resume with their last name, but in the comments, in the code, I'm going to see in there that you both worked on it. And to get full credit, that's just the same sort of idea there. And it's broken down here as well. Did you do this, 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 or this? It's basically yes or no. Did you write an HTML file and you turned in Word? Nope, zero points. Did you not put their name as an H1? Zero points. You know, very straightforward. But that's the assignment for in class before you leave. You have to turn that in before you leave. Don't just touch base with your partner and then take off of the beach. You have to finish it before you leave. Then you go to the beach and turn that in. And I'll obviously see that Canvas will tell me when you turned it in. So it's due by the end of today. Our class, not the end of the day, but the end of our class. Does that make sense before I partner you up? Does that make sense what you need to do for the in-class thing? You have the one due by Sunday, and then you have the one due by Friday. Any questions before I partner you? Okay, let me let me uh, partner you up like we did previously, and then you'll have time to work.